Meanwhile, we're learning more about the hours leading up to the shootout that injured four APD officers yesterday and the robbery that took place earlier in the morning. The victim of that robbery, a teenager. News 13 Stephanie Chavez is live on Juan Tabo near the Dutch Bros with the latest. Kim, that robbery took place just south of Central on Western Sky. The skies. Those two suspects were tracked down by police a couple of hours later near this Dutch Bros. Now, uh, the criminal complaint says James Ramirez, along with another suspect who has not been identified yet, approached a teenager on Central and Western Skies just after 7 yesterday morning. The suspects put a gun to the teen's head and demanded he give them everything he had, taking his wallet, a PlayStation console, a gold chain and his shoes. That teen later tracked the two men down near Juan Tabo and Copper and reported the robbery to police. That's when Officer Mario Verbeck and James Eichel responded, finding the suspects near the Dutch Bros Coffee on Juan Tabo. The suspects took off on foot. The complaint says during the pursuit, Ramirez began sh shooting at officers. And I see him walk into the alley here, and I seen a couple of officers pull up and Officers started running after them, and as soon as I lost sight of the officers right here behind the tree in the alleyway, the, um, the, that's when I heard all the gunshots going off. Sergeant Sean Kenny and Officer Harry Gunderson arrived on scene shortly after, demanding Ramirez put his gun down, but Ramirez refused, shooting Sergeant Kenny in his bulletproof vest. Gunderson was injured by flying glass. Ramirez was shot on scene by officers and taken to UNMH. He's in stable condition. Now, the criminal complaint says the teenage victim's wallet was found on Ramirez when he got to the hospital. APD says they expect federal charges to be filed in this case. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, Officer Verbeck remains in critical condition tonight. The other two, their conditions are stable, but they remain in the hospital. Sergeant Kenny was released. His vest saved his life. Now, police state did say that Ramirez was from California. We looked into his criminal history and could only find a burglary conviction in Los Angeles in 2014.